So the first thing you might want to do is to create a new project, save it somewhere, and click on HFSS to add an HFSS project. Uh, we're going to import the antenna by going to modeler import, and we're going to import this log underline CAD step file, which I'm providing here in the description. First thing we're going to do is assign material property. So you can either click in here or click uh, in this box, the substrate, right click and go to assign material, type droid, D-U-R. So already have droid in here, click OK. You can click OK here, it's not a problem. And now we have two surfaces. You could assign a finite thickness, but for our case here, it's not going to change the results too much. So assign both of these surfaces with the control button. You can either click here or on the modeler tree. Right click, cr assign a boundary. And we could assign perfect E, perfect conductor. Let's assign a finite conductivity. Uh, click on use material and type uh, copper. There we go, we have copper. Click OK, you could select, you know, assign DC thickness, but uh, we're not gonna do this. And now what we need to do is assign our excitation port. We're going to assign excitation between those two, uh, you know, surfaces. Right clicking here or anywhere in the modeler, go to selection modes, uh, edges, or just hit E on the keyboard. Select this edge, you can zoom in and out scrolling the, your mouse. With the control button, select this edge. So both of them should be pink. Right click and go to assign excitation, port, circuit port. Just click next and finish. So you should have the finite conductivity uh, and also your port. Uh, make sure that here in HFSS solution type, you have this auto open region enabled, right? If you have that, uh, you should have this auto one. Double click on auto one, change the frequency, the adaptive frequency to 10 gigahertz. That might not be necessary, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Maximum number of passes, just put it 99. Uh, it will converge before that. In options, use uh, auto select direct iterative solver. The solver will choose if they're going to use the direct matrix solver or the iterative solver. And the last but not least, right click on the auto one, add frequency sweep. Let's do uh, linear count. Yeah, four to uh, 10 gigahertz, uh, interpolating, all good. Hit OK, um, go to simulation, validate, all green close, analyze. So after a few seconds, the simulation should finish. You can take a look at the results by right-clicking here on the results. Uh, you can create far field reports to see the you know radiation pattern. Let's take a look at S11. So create terminal solution data report, rectangular plot, new report, close. You see that we don't have a really good match, maybe around seven gigahertz only. Uh, but you know, let's try to see if we can create a matching network to a specific frequency. So we can go back to the modeler by double clicking in here. What we need to do is go to project, insert circuit design, just hit OK. So now we're going to create a, a circuit design, you know, a circuit to, to match the impedance. Uh, so what you need to do is take, click here on the HFSS design and drag the design here to this uh, circuit schematic. Um, you can use shift and alt on the keyboard to uh, you know, pan and uh, alt, uh, shift and alt together to zoom. What you need to do here, uh, you need to double click in circuit, make sure you have all these uh, circuit components on, on your ribbons here on the top, and click on the interface port and connect the interface port here to the HFSS model. Hit ask, you can just drag and drop if you want to. And Let's expand here and run the same frequency analysis just to read the results from HFSS. So you right click here in analysis, add next in solution setup, network analysis, linear network analysis. You'll likely have nothing in here. I already have some values populated. Uh, I'm just going to click on edit. I'm just going to delete here. And what you need to do is to put the same frequency sweep you have uh, on HFSS. So start in four, stop in 10 gigahertz with 400 uh, points. Click add, OK, OK. So now you have this linear frequency, right click, analyze. Results uh, should be done like in milliseconds. Right click results, create standard report, rectangular plot, again, S11, 
results are exactly the same as HFSS, right? And now what we're going to do is right click, create standard report, but let's create a Smith chart, okay? Let's click a new report. So that's my um, Smith chart. Uh, if I double click in here, let's try to choose a frequency. Let's say eight gigahertz. I'm gonna try to match the frequency, uh, create a, a circuit to match at eight gigahertz. So double click here again to go back to Smith chart. Uh, if you go to results, there's this Smith tool. So what you need to do is, well, first, uh, usually select the frequency here, 8 gigahertz, and then I right click, go to data marker, and I try to find this frequency here. If you take a look here down on the bottom, as you scroll over the, the line, you see the frequency, okay? Let's select the, you know, 8 gigahertz in here. You click conjugate and click on this exact same place, uh, you know, 8 gigahertz. And now you add the admittance grid, that helps a little bit. Go to matching, create a new match. And now you click here in the middle of the Smith chart and you click, click in a you know component you wanna add to your matching network circuit. I'm just gonna add this capacitor in series. Go somewhere around here and I'll add this inductor in parallel. So I'll try to, to, to get to this point here. You, you can, you know, change the, the value of the capacitor, you know, and, uh, you know, keep, uh, you know, playing with the Smith chart. Once you connect, you know, from the center of the Smith chart to the conjugated, uh, you know, point, you click on export. Hit OK and you can close this. So this is your matching network circuit. Uh, the values in here were calculated by the Smith chart. So uh, this is a sub-circuit. Take a look at port one, port two. If you double click here on circuit two or circuit one, uh, you know, you have this sub-circuit. You can go back just by double clicking in here if you want to. So what I wanna do is to add this matching network circuit in here, connect uh, between my port and the antenna. Uh, I'll go back here, double click aspidometer plot one. I wanna keep this old result, which is just the antenna. So I right click and select accumulate. And I right click here in linear frequency and analyze. And now we have the results with the new, uh, you know, circuit that we have the designed and matching network uh, impedance here. Uh, you can click here and change the color just for the sake of uh, better visualization. And you see here now that we have a much better matching at uh, eight uh, gigahertz, right? So that's how you actually use uh, the Smith tool to create this, uh, you know, circuit to match the impedance.